Time and again, our community has come together to address a myriad of challenges. Floods, wildfires, and global pandemics have proven to be no match for the philanthropic fighting spirit of Larimer County, and at every turn, United Way is here to connect businesses, individuals, and nonprofits, creating an alliance of invisible superheroes. We know that the power of collaboration, generosity, and kindness strengthens our community day after day. Year after year, our work proves that in Larimer County, we truly are stronger together as we navigate countless obstacles to meet the needs of our most vulnerable populations. Currently, everyday citizens are jumping into action, contributing their time, talent, and resources to make a difference for their neighbors in a time of unprecedented fear and uncertainty. United Way is leading the charge to address today's greatest needs, and we need your help. Answer the call. Suit up and stand united with us as we work to change lives and strengthen our community. Join our League of Heroes. Good evening to all you superheroes out there who decided to connect with one of Larimer County's most valuable nonprofit organizations. I'm Tom Hilbert, the volleyball coach at CSU. And throughout my career as a coach, I've had to I've put a premium on connecting with the community. In the last year and a half, I've become much more aware of the impactful work of the United Way of Larimer County. We wake up every day in one of the best places in the country to live, work, and play, but not everyone here is thriving. We still have vulnerable populations that need our help, and that's what tonight's about. So why are we raising money tonight? This event proceeds benefit the Community Emergency and Response Fund, which supports both immediate and longer-term needs resulting from the coronavirus pandemic, as well as future emergencies. So let's all be great superheroes and have some fun. We're going to have inspiring speakers tonight. We have important updates from community leaders about United Way's response to the pandemic, more live music from Liz Barnes and Carrie Morin, and giveaways, <clears throat> including two $250 gift cards for NOCO Nosh, a $500 gift card to Shields in Johnstown, a day at the brewery package at Anheuser Busch, including a beer master tour, dinner, and shopping credit a package of 10 digital movie downloads from Lionsgate, an 18-hole foursome with carts at Highland Meadows Golf Course, and then the grand prize, which I really like. You know, everybody likes a great night out, but this is a first-class night in. It starts with housekeeping services, then gives you a couple's massage and spa, then a five-course dinner prepared by a talented local chef complete with, mine, with wine pairings, at your house. So you're eligible for these drawings if you pre-registered for the event or if you make a donation during the live program tonight. So you're wondering how, how do I make a donation? I'm going to show you right now. Click the donate button on our event page and if you're joining us from Facebook or YouTube follow the link in the video description to access our event page or you can text UW Superhero to 41444. That's UW Superhero to 41444. Okay? Uh, I'll be repeating that again in this during this event. So I want to thank our sponsors. We've got Ent Credit Union, Nutrien, of course, we've mentioned NOCO Nosh, and KRFC 88.9 FM Radio in Fort Collins. And a special thanks to Mark Goldrich and Gwen Hatchett, because they're going to be providing opportunities for matching your gifts tonight. So this will be referred to as the Goldrich Hatchet Match It. I also want to thank our virtual table hosts and everyone else who's already joined our League of Superheroes by making contributions to this event tonight. So far, this event has raised over $7,000. That's pretty incredible. So let's kick this off with Tracy Oldemeyer, the 2019 and 20 Chair of United Way's Board of Directors. Thank you, Tom. I share Tom's heartfelt welcome to all of you. On behalf of the entire board, thank you for participating in this invisible superhero social and for showing your passion for United Way's mission. 
the coronavirus pandemic has really turned things upside down around the world, and I have been more reflective. Tonight, I share some reflections on my time on the United Way board. It started between the fires and the floods. On an early morning eight years ago, lightning struck a tree in the mountains just west of Fort Collins and started a fire. Though it was only June, the remote area was very hot and very dry. The conditions were extreme. First responders from multiple agencies were promptly dispatched. Unfortunately, despite their best efforts, the brave men and women fighting the fire on the front lines were unable to stop the rapid spread of the flames. And soon it became clear that lives and property were at risk. I recall being stopped in traffic one evening at the intersection of Highway 1 and 287. As I looked to the foothills, the sun was setting on the sky that was eerily filled with thick smoke. From the Northwest, there was what seemed like an endless stream of trucks full of evacuees and trailers overloaded with livestock and possessions. These evacuees were doing exactly what was required of them. They left for safety in a hurry. And as I watched, I thought to myself, where were they going? Where would they sleep? They needed shelter now and they had no idea what if anything would be left of their homes and businesses once the imminent danger subsided. The scene was surreal. Over 21 days, the High Park fire burned over 87,000 acres, destroying more than 250 homes and claiming the life of one Larimer County resident. It became the third largest and most destructive wildfire in recorded Colorado history. The effects were devastating. However, our community's response was exceptional. Local agencies have a long history of cooperation and the High Park Fire was a prime example of their ability to work together. During the peak of the fire, United Way was a key part of our community's emergency response. At times, staff and volunteers at our 211 call center answered more than 100 calls per hour from displaced residents asking for help. And this freed up 911 lines from non-emergency calls and connected hundreds of people with the information and referrals they needed to begin the process of rebuilding their lives in our community. But something else happened at that call center, something very special. In addition to the heartbreaking, often desperate pleas for help from evacuees, 211 operators were also answering dozens, if not hundreds of calls from Larimer County residents, asking how they could help. Volunteers lined up to offer for their service and donations came flooding in. As a result, United Way established the Community Emergency and Response Fund to provide timely critical support to our neighbors. Fast forward about 14 months. In September of 2013, heavy, heavy rains resulted in a flood, leaving devastation from the High Park burn area and Estes Park all the way down the canyons to Loveland, Fort Collins and surrounding communities. The Community Emergency and Response Fund was there at the ready after that catastrophe too. And United Way was able to use that fund to support the long-term recovery efforts. Fast forward just over six years, the Community Emergency and Response Fund is still in existence when the coronavirus arrives in Colorado. In mid-March 2020, that fund allowed United Way to join with the Community Foundation of Northern Colorado to create the Northern Colorado COVID-19 Response Fund with United Way's $100,000 contribution combining with the Community Foundation's generous $50,000 contribution. But neither agency stopped there. We reached out to you, our friends, neighbors, family members, and colleagues, and we asked for your help to support our community's most pressing needs, and you responded. Our community of superheroes has enabled us to award more than $1 million to 55 area nonprofits working with the most vulnerable populations in Larimer County, especially those who've been disproportionately affected by the pandemic. Together, we've ensured that our community has access to truly critical services from food and hygiene products for our homeless neighbors, to cleaning supplies and household goods for senior citizens, from utility and rent assistance for people who've been laid off from their jobs, to safe shelter, for victims of domestic violence who could never be considered safer at home. 
In many ways, the generous, unshakable spirit of Larimer County reminds me of that early morning fire that started in the mountains west of Fort Collins in June of 2012. For decades, people who have lived and worked here every day have been cultivating the perfect conditions for kindness, compassion, hope, goodwill, and generosity to spread like wildfire. And you've proven that when lightning strikes, we are ready to stand united and face the challenge together, whatever it may be. And now we're asking for your help again. Please help us replenish the Community Emergency and Response Fund so that we can contribute, continue supporting both the immediate and the longer term needs resulting from the coronavirus pandemic, as well as be ready for any future emergencies that we will weather together. For decades, United Way has been steadfast in its commitment to addressing the greatest needs in our community. And though maybe not the result of a natural disaster, the needs are no less pressing for families in our community. The video um, will show you some of the innovative and exciting ways we've been doing just that over the past year. When our community experiences an emergency like the High Park Fire or the 2013 floods or the coronavirus pandemic, it is also critical that United Way have the ability to quickly pivot and respond with the work of its talented staff and financial resources. And to do that, we need your help. Lightning can strike twice and floods do happen. And that's why I'm asking you to support United Way and all of Larimer County by making a donation to the Community Emergency and Response Fund tonight. We've made it easy for you. Just click the donate button on your screen or text to the number 41444, UW Superhero is all one word. No matter how much you give, I can promise you that it will make a difference and help us continue to do this incredibly important work for years to come. Thank you for your support and your generosity. And thank you for making Larimer County a wonderful place to live. Larimer County, a community with a strong identity, resilient residents, and a unifying belief that we'll successfully tackle any challenge by working together. Larimer County is known to be one of the best places to live, work, and play, but the reality is there's a lot of people that have great needs around childcare, around housing, around transportation. We're helping people that just need a little help up, and our partnerships with private sector companies really makes our funding go a lot farther. At the core of United Way is a deep-rooted belief in the power of collaboration. Together, we've been able to improve our community's access to affordable, quality childcare. By partnering with Brinkman and the City of Fort Collins, we were able to help Teaching Tree expand in place and nearly double its capacity to serve more children and families. Together, we were able to build the Community Impact Center by Brinkman, a place where nonprofits share more than space, but ideas and resources that allow them to better serve the people and needs in this community. The only way to, to allow these larger projects, opportunities to happen are really by partnership. Everyone coming in with their skill set, their values, and really coming together for a, a larger cause. We found the opportunity to bring this real estate as a home and a roof uh, for United Way. And uh, we know United Way better than anybody uh, can bring in the other nonprofit partners and really make it a home for all those groups to really move the needle in the community and what they do. The real benefit of us being here is it's more affordable. We're surrounded by like-minded people and other nonprofits so we can collaborate on projects. The shared services is such a great opportunity just to take advantage of things that would be out of our scope of affordability. Bottom line is we can spend more time and energy and money in our, on our programs if we have less to spend on the operational side. So we're looking at where those opportunities might expand to in the future for our shared services program, whether that's in financial management, marketing, IT. We're thrilled with the results of this project, but we know there is much more to do. Now, more than ever, United Way is here to help address the most urgent needs of struggling families and individuals. When the effects of COVID-19 hit Larimer County, United Way pivoted almost overnight, setting up the Northern Colorado COVID-19 Response Fund with the Community Foundation of Northern Colorado to meet new and unprecedented needs. 
What I love about this community is we have a, an amazing track record at solving these difficult problems or at least making progress and then doing it in a way that's just not a one-off successful sort of outcome but that it's sustainable. United Way will continue to meet our community's greatest needs, however great or however unexpected, with your help. Together, we will meet the challenges of today in a way that paves the way for a brighter tomorrow. Together, we will strengthen our community. Be part of the solution and stand united with us. Strengthen your community with a gift to United Way of Larimer County today. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dawn, and I'm on the Community Health and Engagement Team with Kaiser Permanente. I've been part of the United Way family and a donor since I walked through the doors of the Fort Collins area United Way as an employee back in 1997. As many of you have heard me say before, once you're connected with United Way, you're connected for life. Through my work at Kaiser, I'm privileged to witness firsthand the work of frontline superheroes throughout our system. I'm also privileged to work with behind the scenes superheroes as we develop strategies to live our mission through providing resources to house the homeless, feed the hungry, guarantee access to care and confront racial inequities in our communities. External to KP, I also get to work with amazing people creating change locally right here in Larimer County. The United Way of Larimer County's Excellence in Philanthropy Award recognizes an individual or family displaying exceptional commitment to achieve positive community impact in Larimer County. I am honored to present this year's Excellence in Philanthropy Award to Paul and Kevin Brinkman. Paul and Kevin are Fort Collins natives and have given generously of their time and talent to the place they call home. Paul and Kevin founded their company, Brinkman Partners, in 2005 with a mission of using business as a force for good. In Allison's nomination, she mentions Paul and Kevin have supported numerous nonprofit organizations, both individually and through their business, including their local school districts and youth sports leagues. Brinkman Partners is one of less than 100 certified B Corps in the state of Colorado. And in 2016, Brinkman Partners adopted an employee ownership plan, furthering their commitment to a triple bottom line approach to business. The recent partnership between Brinkman and United Way of Larimer County has not only provided United Way with a new home that has allowed for the launch of our shared services program, it also catalyzed the expansion of local childcare in our community. Paul and Kevin are Fort Collins natives who have made it a point to generously give back in their community. Congratulations to Paul and Kevin Brinkman, winners of the 2020 Excellence in Philanthropy Award. Paul and Kevin couldn't be with us tonight, but they did leave us a thank you in a video. On behalf of my brother Paul and myself, thank you for this incredible humbling award. And thank you for being the real superheroes in our community helping our most vulnerable populations during this pandemic. Through partnerships across the sectors, we strengthen the community as a whole. United Way has always been at the forefront of the collaboration between the necessary parties to bring them to the table for our most pressing problems. We're in truly unprecedented times and our community needs to step up. We hope you'll join us in taking a stand and supporting United Way as they change lives and strengthen our community. Thank you, superheroes! Hi, I'm Mike Hooker. I'm the Director of Media Relations and Denver Outreach at Colorado State University, and I currently serve on the Board of Directors of United Way of Larimer County, and I've been in that role since 2012, and have been extremely fortunate to have worked closely with the great people at the United Way of Larimer County. Thank you all so much for, for being here with us tonight. And in that time, the name of our next award-winning organization has come up again and again as a generous, trusted, and a leading partner in our community. The Community Collaboration Award is presented to a company or an organization with an exemplary spirit of giving, advocacy, and volunteerism, longevity in the community, and embracing collaboration while inspiring others to strengthen our community. And in my work at CSU and on the board, the name Woodward comes up routinely in all of these ways. An example happening right now. During the coronavirus pandemic is the work by Woodward engineers 
to help save lives. We've heard of the life-saving importance of ventilators for some COVID patients. And in a joint effort, engineers at Woodward and CSU have worked together to develop a ventilator that could be manufactured quickly and deployed if the state were to face ventilator shortages. In fact, Governor Polis called Woodward's work with CSU on ventilators a great example of Colorado innovation and ingenuity. The nomination letter for Woodward says it well. Woodward is a pillar of support for both United Way of Larimer County and for our entire local community. And the company has hosted an employee campaign for more than 20 years, contributing more than $5.3 million and giving countless volunteer hours. Woodward has had a presence in Northern Colorado for more than 60 years. And this year, like CSU, Woodward is celebrating its 150th anniversary in business. So we want to welcome Woodward's Chris Fozzi and Doug Salter. Chris Fozzi is Corporate Vice President and General Counsel and Chief Compliance Officer, and Doug Salter is Vice President of Corporate Technology. So congratulations to Woodward, the recipient of the 2020 Community Collaboration Award. Chris and Doug. Thank you, Mike. Really appreciate that. Uh, for those of you who know Woodward, and our storied history and our leadership well, you also know that we're very active in our communities, but we don't tout it, it's just not our style, it's not our culture. And so even more so, we're very humbled and honored to be presented with this very important and prestigious award. Woodward's constitution describes who we are, it describes how we conduct business, it identifies our key stakeholders, and that includes our communities in which we operate. We emphasize our deep commitment to supporting organizations and programs that ensure our communities are desirable places to live and to work. We have a particular focus on cultivating a spirit of giving and encouraging our employees, who we refer to as members, to engage and volunteer within our communities. As we reinforce those values, the United Way of Larimer County has been instrumental and been a strong partner to us as we encourage our members to give their time, treasure, and talent to nonprofit organizations and to families in need. Woodward members continue to volunteer in countless programs such as Make a Difference Day and National Volunteer Month. It's part of who we are and what makes us very proud to be part of this great community. Now, I would like to turn it over to Doug Salter to talk about the exciting project that Mike had already introduced. This project exemplifies Woodward's contributions to our communities, particularly during these trying times. Doug? Thank you, Chris. Um, and thanks to Mike for the nice introduction of Woodward. And I'd like to thank everyone um, for the opportunity to speak briefly about the collaboration between Woodward and CSU that we've been working on to create an emergency ventilator for the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, when I reflect on what United Way and its cooperation with industry brings to the community, it's about aligning and helping industry give back to the community, a marshalling of resources, if you will. In the case of the ventilator project, the governor, Governor Polis, reached out to the universities of the state for potential collaborations with industry to be prepared for what might occur with the pandemic. In particular, um, if the number of people requiring intubation and ICUs in the state exceeded the number of available ventilators. As a background, CSU and Woodward have been collaborating for over 30 years in the controlling of the mixing of natural gas and air in different types of combustion engines. This has been to reduce fuel consumption and to meet ever more stringent uh, emissions requirements over the year. When CSU looked at the ventilator, which is fundamentally the controlling of mixture of air and oxygen, they thought of Woodward. So we got together between the Energy Institute at CSU, led by uh, Dr. Brian Wilson and Woodward's Engine Development Group. And long story short, um, within four days, we had a working prototype on a bench. And three weeks after the governor's first call, we were down at CU's Anxious Medical Campus doing clinical testing on live animals. So the clinical test consists of sedating an animal, intubating them, putting them on the ventilator, breathing for them, and then fully recovering those animals. The test went really well. Animals are all doing fine. Um, very fortunately, the virus in Colorado didn't require us to productionize this ventilator, but it was very heartwarming to see the level of response between Woodward CSU and in general, the entire community. We got support from doctors and respiratory therapists. People stepped up across the board to work long hours. We met um, seven days a week 
um, for eight weeks straight just to do something for the community. Everyone, including CSU and Woodward as the entities involved, um, donated their times and efforts. Um, so if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about the ventilator, there's a video on the CSU homepage. Um, just go to the homepage and type in ventilator and it'll pop up for you. Um, and wrapping up, we didn't end up needing the ventilator for this crisis, which is actually the best outcome we could possibly have. But now we'd like to ensure that we don't forget those things we still do need in this crisis. Um, the economic downturn associated with COVID-19 will increase the needs of our community. And I'm confident that if we can maintain and channel the energy we had on the ventilator project um, to fund the money that we're raising with United Way, then we'll continue to take care of our community through United Way as we've done in the past. So with that, I think I'll turn it back over to Tom. Thank you, Kevin, Chris, and Doug for your help in truly moving the needle and strengthening our community. You know, when the coronavirus hit, it created a sense of urgency in Larimer County for those with the greatest needs. And I was so personally impressed the United Way, along with the Community Foundation of Northern Colorado, created this COVID-19 response fund and helped 55 local nonprofits with over $1 million in grants. Tonight, we've already eclipsed $10,000, okay? And donating tonight is easy peasy. In fact, it's a two for one happy hour right now for your donations. That's right, it's time for our first giving challenge, the Goldrich Hatchet Match It. So generous donors and longtime United Way supporters, Mark Goldrich and Gwen Hatchet are matching all donations that come in dollar for dollar in the next five minutes, up to $5,000. So get your credit cards out, raise your virtual paddles, let's raise some money. We've got five minutes of great music, when we come back, we'll be doing our first set of door prize drawings, which is a foursome from Highland Meadows Golf Course, NOCO NOSH gift cards. And speaking of NOCO NOSH, they're donating 10% of every order they get tonight from four to eight. Every order, 10% of that goes to the United Way. And if you order that delivery from Moot House, Austin's American Grill, Big Al's Burgers and Dogs, Comet Chicken, Walrus Ice Cream, chicken cone or panhandlers pizza. Those restaurants will give an additional donation on top of the NOCO NOSH donation. So once again, start the clock for the uh, hatchet match it and let's have our Northern Colorado's own Carrie Morin. Well, thank you for that. This is great. Um, I'm just pleased to be a part of this. Thanks for having me. Here's a song that's going to be on my new album that's coming out here soon. The album is called Dockside Saints. This is a traveling song. This is a love song. It's called Jamie Ray. <laughs> Jamie Ray, 
home, son. No, that girl ain't for you, mama. I hear what you say, but I gotta get to my chamber. Okay, we're back. You know, it took me a little while to put this outfit on because I couldn't find a phone booth. They don't make phone booths very more so, very often, so uh, it took me like five minutes just to find this image on Zoom. Anyway, I want to announce our progress. We've eclipsed ten thousand dollars. We're uh, we just finished up the um, challenge, the hatchet match it. So I got to put my glasses on here. Uh, I want to thank Mark and Gwen again. And so now it's time for our first door prize winners. Okay, first we're going to do the uh, for the foursome of golf at Highlands Meadows. That goes to Ann McGinnis. Okay, Ann McGinnis. All right. Now our first $250 NoCo Nosh gift card. That goes to Emily Zaynard. Emily Zaynard. You get the first of two NoCo Nosh gift cards. Okay, the second one goes to Julie Merlino. Julie Merlino. Okay. So those are our first three. Door prize drawings, and I just heard my doorbell, which means my NOCO NOSH delivery is here. So I'm going to turn this over to Kelly Evans, the executive director of Neighbor to Neighbor, while I enjoy this meal and get out of this superhero suit. Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me, and thanks for tuning in tonight. This is really fun. Um, I'm Kelly Evans, executive director at Neighbor to Neighbor. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you. At Intuin, we have 11 programs, all focused on housing stability. And we believe in everyone having opportunity and access to a stable home because success is built on that foundation of a stable home. Tonight, I'm gonna to briefly share our response to this economic impact caused by COVID, as well as United Way's support. As COVID marched toward Colorado, I, like many of you, worried that um, the economic impact would really hit our, our workforce hard, um, especially community members who are paid hourly and those who rely on tips. These neighbors often struggle to pay their rent um, in the Fort Collins housing market and Northern Colorado housing market, even in a strong economy. So we were very concerned as many of you can relate. Thankfully, as our eviction and homelessness prevention services did skyrocket, um, demand for those services skyrocketed as we predicted, the, the community responded. Um, the percent of Spanish speaking applicants also soared. Um, so we were really scrambling to try to meet need and meet need to a, a more diverse uh, demographic. Very thankfully, um, the community responded. And we've been distributing months worth of rent assistance every few days. Thanks to the neighbors who are in our community, many of you on this call who reach out and help your community. Um, 
we have been able to increase that assistance by 600%, distributing 14 months of emergency rent assistance in April and May alone. And that is the practical impact of the thoughtful generosity of donors. On one hand, I was seeing donations coming in and being very thankful for that, while at the same time producing reports showing how much emergency assistance was being deployed. It was incredible to be able to watch that um, really tangible um, emergency assistance funding coming in and then going immediately out the door. Thankfully, as a major funder in Larimer County, the United Way recognized the urgency in this case and they responded. Thanks to the early and flexible funding we received from United Way, we were able to deploy funding early and we were able to help people pay their April 1st rent. United Way was one of the first funders we had in the door. Uh, we'll always be so grateful for that. We have enjoyed support with United Way of Larimer County for all of our 50 years in business. Uh, we used to office in the same building. We've got a long history with United Way of Larimer County that we're really grateful for. Neighbor Neighbor Partners in the Working Families Thrive Collaborative, as well as we receive basic needs funding. Thanks to general United Way support, when we aren't in a pandemic, we are able to provide stable homes to over 70 local families every year. The generosity of our donor community and our United Way supporters makes life-changing practical impact a reality. An early recipient of our emergency rent assistance said it best. Thank you so very much for granting us rental assistance to pay our April rent. You have relieved a ton of bricks off of our shoulders. You have been a blessing to us and we will never forget how concerned and caring you have been at the scariest time in our lives. God bless and be well. Thanks so much for your support tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, now, I'd like to, uh, first of all, tell you that we raised $800, over $800. It was matched in the last of the giving challenges, and we're getting ready to start another one. Um, I also want to explain to you how our friends at Copper Muse Distillery are helping tonight. Now, from now and through this Sunday, June 21st, 15% of the we we appreciate you cocktails to go will benefit united way they're available for curbside pickup and they're very good uh, plus bottles of copper muse civil rum are also available for pickup so you can keep making this recipe at home long after the event is over so we're getting ready to do another drawing when we come back and this one will be for the 500 dollars shields gift card a package of 10 digital movie downloads, the day at the brewery tour package at Anheuser-Busch, and this includes a $100 food and beverage gift card to the beer garden, and a beer master tour for four, and $250 worth of goods in their merchandise tour center, okay? Um, so I wanna introduce now for in the next five minutes, and I want to beat this last hatchet, Goldrich hatchet match it, and thanks, by the way, to Mark and Gwen for matching these donations. Well, we're going to start this clock, and we want to raise $5,000 before the timer runs out. $5,000, and it will be matched, okay? So now's the time to give if you haven't given yet. And even if you've already given, give again, because we want to raise $5,000. So right now, I want to introduce the woman that makes all of this happen, the CEO for United Way of Larimer County. Annie Davies. Thank you, Tom, and thanks everyone for tuning in to United Way's annual event. Last year, we thought we were really mixing things up by hosting a cocktail party instead of a luncheon. We obviously had no idea what was in store for us in 2020. I want to begin my remarks this evening by saying thank you to the wonderful community who welcomed me to Larimer County when I took the job three years ago. As I transitioned to a role at United Way Worldwide in August, I'm incredibly grateful for the meaningful work and amazing people who have been part of my experience here. Unlike many of you, I didn't land in Fort Collins because of an affinity for Rams 
or because of the mountain biking, or even because I knew anything about the wonderful people that would become part of my experience here. I took the job because I wanted to put myself to the test and see if some of the professional lessons I had learned over the last 15 years would allow me to effectively lead an organization. I greatly appreciate the board for giving me that opportunity and want to say a special and very heartfelt thank you to the two incredible board chairs who served during my tenure, Paul Mueller and Tracy Oldemeyer. Paul and Tracy are two of the best humans on the planet, and I will be forever in your debt for your support, wisdom, and leadership. It was my goal from day one to make United Way a stronger and more impactful organization. And I am proud to report that while the world seems to be reeling around us, the state of your United Way is strong. We have the strength to not only survive, but thrive through the current challenges of the coronavirus. We have the partnerships and resources to be part of a countywide solution for affordable and accessible childcare. We've developed shared services that will help our nonprofits weather this storm, adapt their business models, and reduce operational expenses. And we will continue to support programs that put people to work, feed seniors, educate children, and keep families in their homes. United Way's mission is to lead philanthropy in our community, ensuring that gifts of time, talent, and treasure address today's greatest needs and reduce tomorrow's. And as we all know, all too well, the greatest needs in our community can shift rapidly. Our perspective and our work changed almost overnight when COVID-19 made its way to Larimer County. We redesigned our website to feature COVID resources, partnered with the Community Foundation and distributed over a million dollars, increased call center capacity for 211, developed a collection and distribution center for needed supplies and set up monthly mobile blood drives. All the while remembering that strategic investment in our fo focus areas, youth and education, financial stability, community engagement and nonprofit excellence are now more important than ever. It will take all of us working together to, to defeat the effects of this virus. Together, we can reimagine systems and programs and ways of doing business that not only help those impacted by this disruption and hardship, but put us on a road to a better tomorrow. Better than where we were before the pandemic and better for all members of our community. Tonight we celebrate superheroes, Woodward and the Brinkmans, our donors and volunteers. I think each of us wants to be a superhero, right? I know I do. When I was a kid, I had a Wonder Woman bathing suit, which I wore like it was my uniform. Wonder Woman was, and to a degree still is, the epitome of who I aspire to be. A strong female leader who stands up for what she believes in and fights for those in need. I also really aspire to have an invisible jet and be half as glamorous as Gal Gadot or even Linda Carter, but I digress. The point is, I think we all aspire to save the day. And these days, there is more than enough saving to go around. We can all play a part because we all have a superhero inside. And so tonight, we call on each of you to once again, down the cape, jump in the jet and answer the call. We need your help to replenish our Community Emergency and Response Fund. Your donations will support the immediate and longer term needs related to the coronavirus and also ensure that Larimer County is able to respond to any future storm that comes our way. Whether you can give $15 or $15,000, your contribution will make a difference and it will stay right here in your community, supporting the men, women, and children who live and work among us. You can join our League of Superheroes by clicking on the donate button on your screen or by texting UW Superhero to this number, 41444. And don't forget, our wonderful supporters, so generous, Mark Goldrich and Gwen Hatchett are still matching your donations dollar for dollar right now. 
I'll be back soon to provide an update on our fundraising progress. I hope we've made a lot of it. In the meantime, we have more door prizes to give away, including our grand prize, so be sure to stick around. For now, I'd like to introduce Liz Barnett to perform another song for us. Take it away, Liz. Unmuted. Thank you, Annie. Um, let me do a quick song here and uh, keep the program moving. Great stuff happening. Hope you guys are learning a lot and enjoying it. Digging deep. This is a song inspired by the Rudyard Kipling poem, If. I think I'm unmuted now. I hope you can hear me. Um, Annie, I think we can eclipse $20,000 in this segment right here, don't you think? We've got some door prize winners to announce. Um, 
The first one is going to be the five hundred dollar shields gift. I'll be card. looking like this with my face looking in the right direction. Do that. So. That is going to go to Aiden Coogan. Aiden Coogan. Okay, you get the five hundred dollar shields gift card. All right. Uh, number five door prize. This is ten Lionsgate movie downloads. Okay, this goes to Stephanie Stodacre. Stephanie Stodacre, you get the movie downloads. And then number six, and this is the day at the brewery where you get the tour, the, the dinner, and uh, $250 worth of swag. That's going to Tory Step. Okay? Now, Annie, don't you think we can eclipse $20,000 in this segment? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. There we go. There's that, net, that special word again. That's going to trigger some more donations. All right. Um, I think, Annie, you, you get to, why don't you tell them what the next, the final grand prize uh, drawing is going to be about? Yeah, we're coming close to the end, everybody. So thank you again for being here with us. And just in a little bit, we're going to give away our grand prize. It's a first class night in, and that includes housekeeping services, an at-home couples massage, and a five-course meal prepared, prepared by a talented local chef, along with, of course, it wouldn't be complete without wine pairings, and served right in your home. You won't want to miss it, so be sure to stick around. I heard you were testing those wine pairings tonight. Is that correct? I knew it. <laughs> well, before we move on, I want to thank everyone who's already made a donation. And if you haven't given, make that contribution right now. United Way is an organization that's really focused on meeting the greatest needs in this community, and they do an unbelievably efficient job at it. Okay? Um, our friends and neighbors need your help. For those people, today's greatest needs aren't abstract. They're very real, very difficult challenges and they're facing in, that we're facing in everyday life. So if you give the United Way, it means you're joining with others in the community to support families who are experiencing financial instability because of furloughs and layoffs, children who are struggling to adapt to new learning environments, seniors who are isolated in their homes, Nonprofits who are fighting to continue serving Larimer County's most vulnerable residents. I want to echo what Annie said earlier. When it comes to strengthening our community, we all have an important part to play. And now we're calling on each of you to stand up for Larimer County by donating to United Way. Give what you can. Help us continue to stand united as a league of Larimer County superheroes. You know, Annie, at an in-person event like this, normally you say, hey, uh, there's an envelope on the table or raise your paddle. There might be somebody next to you planted to stare you down and say, hey, are you going to give right now? Don't you think it's appropriate for people to feel that same pressure? I'm trying to put my virtual pressure vibes out right now. I just have to tell you. So. If you, now, you know, I've got a special visual, I think, that people that might help people feel better about this. Okay. There we've got Annie and me in our superhero costumes. If we were at this event and you had Wonder Woman staring you down or Captain America asking you to put your credit card or write a check and put it in the envelope, you do it right now. So it's time people to answer that call. Or you might start running away when you see those visuals, but either way, <laughs> uh, we do have one last chance for you guys to um, double your gift as well. And we want to say a big thank you again to Gwen uh, Hatchett and Mark Goldrich for their match this evening. They are generously offering to match your donations once more. So we're going to start that clock one last time. And all these donations that are going to come in are going to go to such a wonderful cause and to support an organization that will really do our very best to make sure that your dollars are used to create great impact in this community. So as we start this last challenge, I want to introduce our musicians one more time. Carrie Morin and Liz Barnes. Hi, hi, hi again. Thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> thanks, y'all. This has been this has been great being a part of this. Thank you for having me. And uh, big shout out to my pals 
Mark Goldrich and Gwen Hatchett for your generosity. Thank you so much. Um, we're lucky to have you in our world. I'm gonna do one more song. Um, thanks a lot. Contribute all you can. Well now it's all gonna come 
you feel that love will give you everything you need to make it fit just like a glove. I'm gonna help you feel his love. She can help you feel the Lord's love. was fabulous fabulous so now it's time for the drawing for the first night or first class night in okay remember what this is this is house cleaning services an at-home couples massage and spa services and a five course dinner prepared by a talented chef complete with wine pairings and served at your home and the winner annie davies that's not positive. No, I'm sorry. It's George Heidgerten. George Heidgerken. George Heidgerken. You won the first class or first, the first class night in. How about that? Would you have liked? I'd like to win that, Annie. For sure, Tom. Oh. <laughs> and oh my gosh, look at our total. We made it over thirty thousand dollars tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for your generosity. We had a huge surge there at the end. It was great to see that happen. And uh, I'm really happy for United Way and everybody who's worked so hard on this event. 
It's amazing. Yes, we have a, such a wonderful community that we're in. I want to thank our sponsors again and Credit Union. Uh, again, Mark Goldrich and Gwen Hatchett. Whenever you have a match, you just have such an incentive. Um, and we know everyone's dollars are going farther this evening. We want to thank Nutrien, who's amazing, amazing uh, corporate partner for United Way, NOCO NOSH, and KRFC 88.9 FM, Radio Fort Collins. And also all of those who participated as a virtual table host with us tonight. Yeah, that, this has been a fantastic event. Fantastic event. I've been so privileged to be a part of it. And so let's, let's make a toast, okay, to all the supporters of all of our community efforts, all of the superheroes in Fort Collins. Here's to you, and here's to United Way. Cheers. 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 Cheers.